Yes, sir. Start it up. This is Mr. Rehnquist from Legal. It appears Miss Lorenz is at it again. Now she's making claims that Elon Musk's monetization scheme favors the far right. We advise running a correction. Well, thank you for the call, Mr. Rehnquist, but I'm sure you'll understand I must respectfully decline. Well, you can always run it as a stealth correction. The last time leave live the TikTok alone. Now get yourself back on Twitter and get some of that goddamn ad revenue. Hey, before I start this video, I'm live on Rumble. Link in the description down below or pin comment. I hope that you'll come over today and discuss all this wackiness. Let's get into the, the video though. Come over after you watch it. What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and I have a story to tell about an ancient being, about uh, a 742 year old woman, the oldest woman alive, having perhaps one of the most epic meltdowns ever all over Twitter yesterday and, and wrote a whole COPE article uh, at the Washington Post in spectacular fashion. And it was so, so, so amazing. I've got such a great tale for all of you to share. Gather around. It's campfire season, right? So gather around. And, um, you know, one thing that they do around campfires is a lot of people like to have s'mores. Well, my coffee company has just put out s'mores flavored coffee available in whole bean and ground. It's absolutely delicious. Promo code flavor burst and you'll save 10% off. We have over 5,100 reviews with an average review score of 4.8 out of five. I hope that you'll give it a try. If you don't like s'mores flavors, we have 20 other flavors as well as non-flavored coffee. Promo code flavor burst to save and support your boy and all my employees and staff at Coffee Brand Coffee. Now, Taylor Lorenz, many people know her as the 86-year-old uh, journalist who has bounced around from every major publication to every major publication out there after getting fired under some curious circumstances. A woman that grew up with a silver, nay, platinum spoon in her mouth went to all the most expensive private schools and grew up to be an internet hall monitor, a dried up old woman obsessed with TikTokers. Okay, this is who Taylor Lorenz is. Now, yesterday, Twitter announced its monetization plan and sent out payments to a handful of creators that Elon all liked. Hopefully that will expand soon. But nonetheless, she's been melting down ever since. Let's start with the conversation that uh, Libs of TikTok had with Taylor Lorenz. This is Taylor Lorenz writing, Hi Chaya, I'm doing a story on Twitter's monetization program for creators. Did you receive any payout from Twitter? I noticed that because you haven't posted about it, I mean, if you noticed there was an obvious marketing uh, of the Twitter payouts yesterday, um, so, you know, pretty much everyone that got money apparently had to post about it or felt like they needed to post about it or encouraged to post about it by Twitter. They were clearly handpicked back in February. Good for them. Happy for them. Just expand it now to everyone else who qualifies anyway. Um, is this because you weren't invited to participate trying to like needle her a little bit? Uh, to which Chaya responds, please include my full comment. It's none of your business. Then Taylor Lorenz replies back, you've bragged about monetization previously on other platforms. Were you not included in Musk's group? Has your relationship with Twitter soured? To which Chaya responds, my relationship with Twitter has not soured. In fact, it's thriving. Elon and I are actually dating. Well, yeah, congratulations, Chaya. 
Please don't tell anyone because we're keeping it quiet. You have a name for being a very trustworthy and honest and being for being very trustworthy and honest. So I know I can trust you with this information. Of course, the joke being that Taylor Lorenz is in fact not trustworthy or honest in any way, shape or form and never has been. The second part of this continues. Taylor replies, we will note that in a tongue in cheek response, you claimed that your relationship with Musk was thriving, but you did not respond to the question other whether or not you're receiving payments under the program. First of all, that is a huge nunya business. And uh, I thought it was really weird, to be totally honest, that all these content creators were suddenly posting their paychecks. Um, I get why they did it. You know, I understand, but it was, it's weird. Like it's a weird flex. I, you know, I, I don't know. I get, I get getting, being excited about it, but there's something about like flaunting your paycheck around on the plebs that doesn't really sit well to me. Um, but anyway, uh, Chaya responds, I'm writing a story on people who suffer from Elon derangement syndrome and refuse to pay for a blue check and or took a lot of their content off Twitter. I'm curious if they have any regrets now that they've seen creators get massive cash payouts. Can you give a comment as I believe you fit in this category? Well, yeah, I mean, I believe that Taylor Lorenz and many people who had melties, who create content, whether I agree with their content or not, specifically for Twitter, a lot of people like Taylor Lorenz, uh, suddenly seeing everybody get paid probably did stick in their craw, whether or not they'd ever want to admit it. So of course, Taylor Lorenz replies, no. And then Chaya replies, I will note that you declined to comment. Now the article that Taylor Lorenz wrote indirectly smeared a lot of people and directly smeared a lot more. So she writes this cope piece, far right Twitter influencers first on Elon Musk's monetization scheme. Well, is Mr. Beast far right? No, he is not. Is Brian leftoid bad take factory Krasenstein a leftoid or a far right? No, he is not. Even like Ed Krasenstein is a guy that is just is known for having the maybe the worst takes imaginable. Uh, but he gets a lot of interaction. He knows how to get impressions and interaction. He even, as a leftoid, wrote, I want to address some things regarding Taylor Lorenz's Washington Post story. I support most of her reporting. Her story entitled Far-Right Twitter Influencers First on Elon Musk's Monetization Scheme is a terrible piece of journalism. Well, that's all Taylor Lorenz knows how to do. In her 476 years on this planet, she's not learned how to be ethical even a little bit. The article states that on Thursday, Twitter announced that it would begin sharing ad revenue with content creators. Fact is, this announcement actually came back in February. I specifically remember, as do many others, and that is true. Elon did tweet that in February. Her article goes on then to claim that, quote, the first beneficiaries appear to be a string of high-profile far-right influencers who tweeted before the announcement how much they had even earned. Again, this is factually incorrect. Twitter sent out notifications to those receiving money at 1142 Central Time. The first person tweeting about it was Ashley St. Clair at 104, followed by Benny Johnson at 114. Benny and his reused clips made a lot of money, and then many others. All of those, all of the influencers were not far right influencers, unless you consider myself, Brian Krasenstein, to be far right. We both received more than any of these individuals mentioned in Taylor's article. Mr. Beast, 25,000, also received about the same as Brian and I. He definitely is not far right. At the time of Taylor's article, several left-leaning people had already tweeted that they were paid, paid, including ourselves and Catherine Brodsky. But she claims in the article that, quote, so far the influencers who have publicly revealed that they are part of the program are prominent figures on the right. At this time, Brian's tweet about his payment had already received 5 million impressions. The article was very bad reporting on behalf of the Washington Post and Taylor Lorenz, and this is coming from somebody that normally likes the Washington Post. Well, yeah, I mean, the Washington Post, I mean, Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post just so he could smear Elon Musk. Like, that's just a fact. Um, and and, and it, it's, it's obvious in their coverage, right? Um, 
Now, there are some things, some valid criticisms. Um, you know, so one of the quotes was, there is no rhyme or reason to it. He decided arbitrarily that these are people who are going to make money off the platform because these are his friends. That I agree with. And then, look, I don't necessarily have a problem with paying it forward to your friends, but just expand it out quickly now. Okay, he said at the end of the month he's going to expand it out. I think he's made his point that people can make money on the platform. So expand it out to regular everyday people, the meme makers, the memester, you know, all the, the people that make mashups, people that do Twitter threads that get lots of attention. If you're going to share money, don't just hold the carrot out there. Um, and of course, Elon dunked on her endlessly. Another quote from the article says, the numbers are totally and completely bogus. It's completely made up. It feels like they're arbitrarily writing checks to people they like, which is not sustainable. It's not a sustainable creator strategy, said former Twitter executive who worked on creator partnerships. Well, I don't know exactly how they would know that given they don't work there anymore. And to be honest with you, you have a situation where, at least in this case, um, it could be that they're oh he's overpaying for hype certainly possible um it could also be that these people genuinely you know if if they're paid on impressions and people are buying ads by number of impressions which is a way to buy banner ads not just clicks but impressions it'd be pretty easy to say hey these ads got impressions in your feed x number of times and therefore we're going to give you 15 percent of the piece or 15% of the pie, it is, you know, that's all fine, right? That's all uh, fine and dandy. But you have, I mean, this, enti this entire article is a massive cope. Massive cope. The timing of Musk's, announcement, comes, Musk's announcement, announcement comes on the heels of Twitter rival Instagram announcing its Twitter-like app threads had surpassed 100 million signups in under a week, making it the fastest growing app of all time. Well, basically every app's going to be the fastest growing app of all time, you know, from here on out, because more people than ever are on the internet. Um, and and uh, this is true. The announcement is on the heels of that. And I think there's a lot of FOMO going on right now. I think that there are tens of thousands of people that are probably signing up for Twitter Blue right now because the ROI is insane. Okay, not only are you getting a bunch of other features in Twitter Blue, okay, but let's just say you do the... You, you get the bare minimum on the threshold, and that's 5 million impressions. I don't know what that would equal, but let's say it's $8 a month, okay? Well, just for using Twitter, you're getting Twitter Blue for free, which is enough to make it worth it, you know, which is enough to get people to at least consider signing up. So almost certainly, Elon saw a massive surge in Twitter, use Twitter Blue signups, and uh, I think this is just a huge win for free speech, which is why the journalists hate it. Journalists wanted everyone to stay on Instagram. That's what they want. They want everyone on threads because that's basically an extension of the DNC. It's a, it's a censorious area. It's a controlled area. That's what they want people on. They don't want people on Twitter, but here we are. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll try, you'll try out Coffee Brand Coffee's new flavor s'mores. Promo code Flavor Burst, you'll save 10%, and we'll talk to you again real soon.